Hey, I'm Evan Smith with BrothersPerformance.com. If you're restoring, resto modding, or just wanting to freshen the look of your late model Mustang, installing a new carpet is a must. Let's face it, you wouldn't want a 20-year-old carpet in your house, and you certainly don't want one in your Mustang. There's a good chance the carpet in your Fox Mustang is either worn out, dirty, or maybe even a bit stinky. To restore that factory fresh look, consider installing a new carpet like this one from Auto Custom Carpet. BrothersPerformance.com offers a complete line of ACC carpets in a variety of colors for all 79 to 09 Mustangs. If you have a Cooper convertible, all you need is the front carpet. Hatchback models, of course, have a second carpet in the back that covers the entire hatch area and the backside of the folding seats. Now let's dig in and install a new carpet in this 1990LX. First, disconnect the negative battery cable, then unbox the new carpet and flatten it out on the floor. Now you can remove the rocker sill plates, kick panels, then you can unbolt the seats. If your car is equipped with power lumbar, undo the connector located under the seat, and then you can carefully remove the seats. With your seats out of the way, unbolt the seat belts where they attach to the floor, and begin console removal. You'll also need to unscrew the shifter knob, pull out the shifter boot bezel, then you can slide the boot off the shifter handle. With the top of the console free, disconnect the power supply to the 12 volt power source and also the power window switch. Then remove the heater control bezel and the remaining screws that retain the console. Next, unscrew the radio, disconnect its wires and place it out of the way. Now you can remove the console from the car. You'll also need to disconnect the fuel pump relay and remove the bracket along with the bracket that secures the front of the console. We also removed the dead pedal at this time. We then pulled out the rear seat cushion followed by that old nasty rug. If you're doing this at home, don't chuck the rug in the garbage just yet. You'll need to use it as a template to mark the new holes that you'll cut in your brand new carpet. But before doing so, lay your old carpet over the new one and then mark and cut the holes for the shifter and the emergency brake handle. Next, flip the carpet over and use a heat gun or a hair dryer to mold the carpet into shape. Feed the shifter handle and the parking brake to the holes you've made and then form the carpet to the shape of the floor. It may be wrinkled at first, but it will smooth out as you go. Once the carpet is sitting flat, trim it so it fits nice and snug. Next, we suggest that you install the outer seat belts to keep the carpet in place. And working from the middle out, reinstall the console base and the mounting hardware along with the lower portion of the instrument panel. Then slide the shifter boot over the handle and replace the top of the console, making sure to hook up the wiring connections. After that, press the shifter bezel into place and screw the shifter knob on. Following this, reconnect the fuel pump relay and bolt down the relay bracket. Now you're in the home stretch. Tuck the carpet neatly under the rocket sill plates and install the screws, then trim the holes for the seat bolts and the studs. Lastly, bolt your seats back in the car, hit it up with a vacuum, and enjoy the stunning good looks of your brand new ACC carpet. To learn more about what's available for your late model performance car, be sure to check out brothersperformance.com and stop by our showroom and installation center located in Deland, Florida, or call 1-800-486-2681.